Adele is being honored and getting honest. The Easy On Me singer received the Sherry Lansing Leadership Award at the Hollywood Reporter's annual Women in Entertainment event on Thursday and got emotional in a rare new interview with the publication where she opened up about motherhood, her love life, and her booming career. Adele, who shares her 11-year-old son Angela with her ex-husband Simon Konecki, reflected on if becoming a mother made her look at her own mom differently, saying, you realize how hard adulting is. So on top of them being your mom, they're also going through their own. I struggle not to show my emotions with Angela with other things I'm going through. And I think that's okay. Sometimes I wish I could hide it a bit less, but also it's not easy being an adult for anybody in any situation. One thing she's not afraid to hide is her love for her son. She also gushed about volunteering at his school. I'm thriving a bit. Now there are so many things his school does the most, with community vibes, which is fantastic. The kids don't care. The kids don't give a flying who I am. And I get not insecure. I get nervous around loads of adults and strangers that I don't know. And so making food for school events, it's my dream, she said. In the candid conversation, she shared that she tries to help mentor young musicians in the industry and reflected on the highly publicized growing pains she faced getting her Las Vegas residency off the ground. As soon as COVID lifted, everyone went out on tour. There was no one to even hire. And then everyone started getting COVID and we were still testing because you had to. Manpower, we were down. It was like, let's use that instead, let's do that. And I don't want to do anything instead. It's extortionate to go to Vegas and to come to my show and it be incomplete. It's like today deciding to have a massive party tonight. And we're down at Party City buying decorations, she joked. She also said that Lady Gaga made her, quote, really, really nervous when she came to her show, and that the doctor who delivered her baby moved her to tears, continuing, I never really understood how lucky you can be to have a baby, and I didn't understand the magnitude of him not only bringing my child safely into the world, but keeping me safely in it. This will make me cry. It was so emotional. I had no idea he was there at the show. Adele, who refers to herself as a, quote, incredibly sad person in the piece, says there is only one person whose story could get her to try acting, but does believe her calling and dream job is being a script reader, confessing, I often say to my manager, I think I could make some really great stuff. I want to be really successful at something. And he's like, what? I was like, I know, but music is my hobby. I just fell into it, and then it just happened. I want to be in TV and behind the scenes. She also got emotional when she reflected on Rich Paul's book, Lucky Me, a memoir of changing the odds. Rich and I have always known everything about each other since the day we got together. It was very emotional reading about his mom, because obviously she's not with us, so I've never met her. And she's such a big part of Rich and the kids and the kids' mom's life and stuff like that. But I knew all about it. I'm getting a bit emotional. It was hard for him to write that, she said. As for the Grammy winner, you won't hear her rocking out to rolling in the deep on her commute anytime soon. She admitted she doesn't like listening to her own music, but says her partner does. Rich does. It drives me insane, she said. It seems like he doesn't have to look very far to hear her hits. Adele joked that he can't seem to escape them when he flies, claiming, Every time Rich travels, the airplanes always play my music. And we can't work out if it's because they know that we are together or if it's just what they do. 